Hello everybody, my name is Lydia Green and I'm course leader for Fine Art A-Level. Fine Art is the most traditional of the art and design subjects and has a strong academic core, respected by Russell Group universities. This makes it a good partner for students studying other academic subjects. It also has a focus on core skills in drawing and visualisation and promotes the development of unique ideas and critical and independent thinking. This makes it another good choice for learners who are not yet sure of their academic direction or their creative direction. The rigorous drawing skills make it a popular choice for students progressing to architecture. The broad experience benefits future games designers or fashion students and students who are in for, interested in advertising love fine art because it helps them develop a unique ideas approach for their creative projects. Students who are going into um, primary education or secondary education also enjoy the fact that it's very hands on. As you enter the first year, we run an induction unit that introduces you to our practical studios. During this first month, we run a series of practical workshops in print, in ceramics, in paper sculpture. We explore drawing and painting. We want to learn about you and what you like about fine art, what sorts of things you enjoy researching and what your thoughts are about the world. As we progress, we have a core of strong skills teaching in drawing and painting and learners are encouraged to take ownership of their project ideas as the year progresses. By the second year, most students have a strong set of personal ideas and have devised an investigatory focus for their final year. This year allows the learner to become really, really confident and most learners flourish, producing work on larger scales, exploring more contemporary and personal themes and innovating and refining their own practice. This year two portfolio is accompanied by a written critical essay and culminates in an exhibition of work in a gallery setting where parents and friends are invited to come along and view their achievements. There are two teachers in the fine art course team. We have two large studios allowing learners to spread out and undertake a range of activities. We offer intaglio, collagraph and mono printing, large scale drawing, we do paper construction and ceramic sculpture, and also painting is taught both contemporary and traditional skills. Year one and two are quite different. The first being very exploratory, but the second being very focused. We encourage all our learners to use a camera to record their personal experience and their environment so they can draw on that in their own work. We teach them to use our Canon DSLRs and our professional lighting studios to edit in Adobe Creative Suite and layer that digital imagery, bringing this into their own work. Art history and critical thinking are taught throughout and learners are encouraged to connect to professional contemporary practice. Second year students innovate and layer media and materials much more confidently and connect to gallery level work and aspiration. Exploring larger scales and creating a strong visual imp impact is important. Students have a sketchbook or a visual journal and work in this independently, but are encouraged to build their portfolio alongside. This is in readiness for progression to HE or for creative employment. Assessment in fine art is positive, developmental and personal to you. Initially, this will most commonly be a one-to-one -one conversation with you about your skills progression or how you are experiencing difficulties or how you could work through something. Formal assessment does take place, but is most commonly based on feedback to help you progress to the next level. We try and help you understand the visual standards of the exam board and how you'll be assessed in year two. In year two, 
you will definitely be exploring some of the examples set by the board to understand and unpick the expectations of you at this level. However, the one-to-one -one conversation approach, the reviews you have on a personal level with your teacher about your personal ideas are going to be the most productive way you will discuss your progress. The final assessment of your work will take the form of a digital portfolio or physical portfolio of your selected best pieces. These will sometimes be in an exhibition setting or could be submitted online. The final discussion about which work you progress will be in partnership with your member of staff. On the fine art course, you're very likely to go on an arranged visit to a local or national city centre. We visited the city of Liverpool, where we've been to the Tate Gallery, the Walker Gallery, which has a beautiful traditional um, set of work. Also, Liverpool Museum, which is culturally fascinating. Or the Blue Coat Gallery, which has a small contemporary set of work. In Manchester, we visited exhibitions at the Whitworth Gallery, but also the big collections at the City Gallery. We encourage our learners to see how fine art has an impact on the wider cultural practice in the city centre and how it's taken into other professions. We like local visits as they can easily be strengthened into revisits and a regular cultural habit, which builds into lifelong cultural engagement. We find that talking about our local culture helps our students become more confident and communicate their ideas more effectively. Our Year One learners are also encouraged to connect to the UCAS Create Your Future Higher Education Fair. This helps our Year Two students select maybe a progression route or a course in which they feel more confident in exploring. We help our students prepare their personal statements and put a lot of one-to-one -one time in helping them develop their personal portfolio, either for Arts Foundation course or for a higher education entry or even for an interview. In Fine Art, we have robust discussions about the world. We explore social, political and cultural issues. The students are encouraged to undertake personal research and field trips and are most commonly very passionate about their ideas. The best universities value A-level fine art for this very reason. The students are independent and hardworking. The development of drawing and the physical dexterity of the practical skills is surprisingly valued by some really unusual subjects. For example, the Royal College of Medicine recommended drawing or knitting or painting for its surgeons lamenting the fact that the physical skills and practical craft skills were falling out of a lot of students' practical experience. Where we can, we run life drawing because that is a continuing discipline which all creative professions and designers value very, very much indeed. Here's a selection of views of the studio or work that some of our learners have produced over the past few years. It's only a small selection. We do hope you'll visit us or ask us questions about the course as you explore the courses that Hill Huddersfield New College has to offer this evening. Do consider joining a live lesson taster on Wednesday the 9th of December. We look forward to seeing you or hearing from you soon. Bye.